And the first thing that I want you to be aware of is that if there is ever a problem that you have and there is no number in front of the variable, you can always write a one in there. So please do that right now. We're going to start with 1K. And then if you notice, I have these arrows up here. And you had to do at least one problem where you had that. So we're going to write 1K plus what we are now going to be doing is taking 5 times 3. And a lot of you are going, oh, Mrs. Thompson, can I just write 1K plus 15? You can. But here's where the mistake happens for a lot of you. It happened the other day when we were doing a problem. Is that you just put a minus K here, and what you are actually doing, if you want to keep that minus, that's okay. You are taking 5 times the K. So it is going to be 15 minus 5K. And then you have the rest of the problem, which is 11. Now, one thing that I've seen some of you do as you're doing your homework is we are now adding like terms. So rearrange things. By rearranging this, we might write it as 1K. And those minuses throw some of you. Today you're going to do some work on Dreambox. Dreambox. We're going to put that as plus a negative 5K. Does that make sense? That minus subtraction can always be changed to adding the opposite. Then you still have plus 15 equals 11. I want to add these like terms together. I'm adding 1k plus a negative 5k. I'm ending up with negative 4k. So I have negative 4k plus 15 equals 11. My next step when I am looking at that, Joe, is to do what? Minus 15. You want to get that negative 4k by itself. Now, some of you are making some crucial mistakes here, and you'll tell me like negative 25 or 26, or you'll say something like um, that this is going to be 4, and it has to be when signs are opposite, you are subtracting. So 15 minus 11 does give us 4, but this is negative 4. So going back to your integer operations that you did last year in 7th grade, okay? So we get negative 4 is equal to negative 4k. My next step, since it's multiplication is happening between negative 4 and k, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. And when I do that division, I am going to end up going with k equals negative 4 divided by negative 4. No, not quite. 1. So, your homework tonight, what I'm going to ask you to do, if we're not doing that many more problems in the homework, and then we're going to be working on this dream box, because I want you to get started on that and doing some of those lessons. Um, but then you have to check this. So, someone want to explain and help us, how would I check this problem? Tell me what I need to write down to do the check. When it starts up. <coughs> so, one. Okay, so I could, since the original problem was just k, I could just put the 1 there because that's what k equals, okay? Plus, then what? Okay, I'm going to keep that parenthesis, right? Not just 5 times 3, but 5 times 3 minus... Um, careful. Up to the original. So remember when you do the check, don't go to that first line that we've done here. Go back to this original. So, Minus 1. And this is what we're checking to see if it equals 11, right? So I have 1 plus 5 times, what's 3 minus 1? 2. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1, does that equal 11? I don't have even have to put it in my calculator. So this is the right answer. So on your paper, you want to circle like what your variable is equal to so I can see that. We're going to do one more with distributed property. So Aaron, on this next problem, as we start this off, do you guys like having the number first, or do you like having the variable stuff first? Variable. So you can rewrite this problem, but you have to keep all the signs in the right spot. So what I've seen some people do is they just all of a sudden decide that they can put in the minus or plus where it's not. So if we are looking at this, we are going to rewrite this as a negative. It's going to be 8. We're going to put g plus 2 minus 6g. Now, for some of you, if g's look like numbers or if you don't like using that letter, you can always just use x or y. I don't care. 
just that they have a bunch of different letters to let you know that you can always use a different letter. Okay? So, Olivia, once we have done that, we are now going to distribute saving your homework tonight. So, what are you going to get when we start distributing? Negative eight G. Then we're going to have minus 6g. And again, I might change this one to plus a negative 6g equals 26. Okay. So I'm looking at that equation and I'm thinking, okay, I'm kind of on track for doing this. What is going to be drive my next step? What am I looking at? How much do you get when you add those like terms? And we could rearrange it. And sometimes what a lot of students do is just do this, right? We could rearrange it, but she said she's going to add those together. What'd you get? Okay, you have to be careful. Can we only add these two together, right? Just the G one. Because this 16 is separate, negative 16. So we're only adding our G ones together. There we go. So if we add only the g's, we get negative 14g, and we still have plus negative 16. So you see what she did? She added the 16 with that too. So you gotta be really careful for that, okay? So my next one after that, if I'm looking at that, why is gonna be to do what? Next step. I wanna get this by itself. What? I need to get this by itself. What are you gonna do? Plus. I want this by itself. I do not want to have the plus negative 16. So if we're going to set a 14, we're going to add, add 16 both sides. I don't understand. Do what? I was not paying attention. I know you weren't. So if we are adding, if we continue, then what are you going to have? Um, 42. 42 equals negative 14 G. Okay? So I'm looking at that problem and I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm almost done, but not quite. You need to finish it with doing what? Divide by 14. Divide by 14. And 42 divided by 14 gives us 3. So let's do the check. I'm doing the check. Start me off. Grace, what do I need to write? From our original problem, what am I checking? Negative, go way back up here. Yeah, eight. And then instead of that inside that parenthesis, instead of G, what did you say G was equal to? Three. Plus two. Keep going, what else did I write? And instead of putting the G again, we're going to put, what well, did you find G equal to? <coughs> to three. And I want you guys to put this in your calculator. If you don't have a calculator, grab one now and put this in. It happened early, it happened right at the end. Some of you saw it. What was the mistake? Are you seeing it, Ben? Oh, we need to divide by 14, so we're supposed to divide by 8, 14. Oh, yeah, we are supposed to divide. And I kind of written it at first, but you said 14, so I divide by 14. And when you divide by 14, this comes out to be 3, and it should have been negative 3. And so now, some of you can just go back in your calculator and insert that negative. But this is really going to be negative 8 times negative 1, which comes out to be 8, minus 6 times negative 3. So if I have 8 plus 18, if it gives me 26, does that work now when you plug in negative 3? Check it. Do you have a calculator? Check it. Put in negative 3 for these two spots and see if it works. And that's where some of you will erase all your work. You do this and you're like, oh, I didn't get the right answer. And you erase everything. And you shouldn't have erased everything because the mistakes 
it was that simple and it was right at the end and now you have it corrected, right? So when we are doing it, so we're going to save this one for tomorrow. We're going to save the questions in the homework like that. Those of you who are going to get back your test reflections, you were asked yesterday by the music people that were on in the morning. Um, the last day to retake it is next week, Wednesday. And by this week, Friday, I really should have your work done if you're thinking you're going to retake that. Okay? So, what you will have to have done for tonight, and you both come into tomorrow, you should have 1 to 10 and 15 done. And you must check with each one. Okay, so you're going to go back if you didn't check on those 1 to 6 tonight and do the check by, right? So if you got the answer here and you got G equals negative 3, was it? Was G equals negative 3 in the first one? So right below that answer, if you didn't write the check, I would see 20 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 and then you would put equal 14 and then check and if it doesn't come out because I had someone at first when they were solving that problem get 3 when we were working and I said well plug it in 20 plus that's 36 that's not 14 it's never going to be oh and their mistake was again they just missed the negative sign so you're going to finish with the check and then you're going to do number 15 so 15, I want you to try and write the equation. And if you don't solve it, that's okay. But try and write it and see if you can solve it. And then what I'd like you to do right now is we're going to go to Dreambox. 